Hi everyone, marhaba, this is Shariq and welcome back to Globetrot with Arabic. I was just recording a video to my MSA students, Modern Standard Arabic students. I'm going to do the same in Lebanese Arabic. Let me tell you first what is the idea. The idea is to start teaching you Arabic from different locations in a spontaneous way. Um, every day we might learn like four to five sentences, a few adjectives, a few nouns, and soon you will find yourself learning Lebanese Arabic um, without even realizing it. Of course, you will have to memorize sentences and words every day, and this way you can expand your repertoire of your vocab, your sentences, and your language. Okay, so let's begin. I'm gonna turn my camera and I'm gonna show you this beautiful, breathtaking place I am in right now. I feel really blessed. I am in Croatia. I'm gonna show you this place from right to left. Okay, see you in a bit. Bye bye. Okay, I'm gonna start by saying I'm at the beach. Anna, al bahar. Anna, al bahar. So, Anna is I. Al means on the, and bahar means beach. So when I say al bahar, it means literally on the beach, but I mean at the beach. Now. Here, on my right, there are lots of rocks. Let's say this. On my right, there are lots of rocks. A on a yamine. Yamin means right. A yamine means on my right. So, a yamine fi, there is, or there are, ktir, lots. Schur. Schur is rocks. So if I say fi ktir schur, there are lots of rocks. In Arabic, we don't say there is and there are. It's the same. We say fi. So for example, if I was talking about just one rock, let's say this rock here, I would say fi, there is sakhra. Sakhra is a rock. So, schur is rocks. Sakhra is a rock. So, if you notice, I'm saying fi sakhra. There is a rock. And I'm saying fi schur. There are rocks. So, there is and there are are the same. I'm going to talk about the water. I'm going to say the water is um, like calm or quiet. So, el mai, el mai, the water, hedye. Elmai hedye. The water is calm. There is a boat here. So I'm going to say fi bechra. Fi bechra. And because there is more than one boat actually, I can say fi bewecher. So in the singular, it's bechra. In the plural, it's bewecher. Okay, if you hear this music on my left, here, there's people dancing and listening to music. So, I'm going to say, on my left, a shmele. So, shmele means left. Shmele, my left. So, a shmele, on my left, fines, fines, there are people. And I'm going to say the music is loud. So, let's break this down. Musia in Arabic means music. Musia. Musia. So, el musia, the music. Alie. Alie actually has two meanings in Arabic. It means high and it also means loud. So, el musia. The music is loud. Let's say here, in front of me, there are lots of beautiful trees. In front of me, الدامي. الدام means in front of. In front of me means الدامي. الدامي في شجر. شجر is trees. في شجر. كتير حلو في شجر كتير حلو there's lots of beautiful trees 
And if I talk about just one tree, I say shajra. So in the singular, it's shajra. In the plural, it's shajar. So I'm gonna say shajra hilwe. So shajra hilwe, a beautiful tree. Shajar hello, beautiful trees. Okay, let me turn my camera to my back. So I'm gonna say behind me. Behind me in Arabic is waraye. So wara means behind. Waraye means behind me. Waraye feel poor. We use the French word actually for port. We say poor. We can also say mina, but Lebanese people have a tendency to use lots of French words, so you can either say mina or l'por. So, fi por waraye. There is a port behind me. I'm gonna say the boats are in the port. El bawekhir, el bawekhir, bil mina, el bawekhir, bil mina, oh. Aw means or, aw el bawakhir bil por. And finally, fi hotel ktir kbir. There is a very big hotel. Fi hotel ktir kbir. Of course, I can also say fi fundu ktir kbir. Fundu is the word, is the Arabic word for hotel, but in Lebanon, you can say either hotel or fundu. So, fi fundu ktir kbir. There is a very big hotel. I think that's enough for today. Try to memorize everything we've done, all the sentences we've learned, and all the words we've learned, along with the adjectives. And hopefully next time, I'm going to re-record another video from a different location with new words and new sentences. That's it for today. Let me say a very big thank you to you. Shukran. And see you next time. Ma'as salame. Ma'as means goodbye. Ma'as Bye.